There's an old saying, buyer beware. I didn't listen to a legitimate review and it almost cost me about $300. And I'm talking about conversion kits for lens mounts. The new Black Magic full frame camera out, we went from an EF to an L mount. There are a few options that you have that could be $30 or $300. There are a number of reasons why you would need a lens mount adapter. In my instance, I have about 12 years worth of EF glass that I've mounted over that decade plus. Let's talk about the cheaper option first, made by KNF Concept. There are no covers on this. There's no glass. It's just a straight up adapter. I would suggest holding onto this box. It came with this little bubble wrap. So, hey, for 30 bucks, right? It does the job. You actually get a click sound when you put your EF lens onto this device. And as I said, there's no glass, so you don't have to worry about anything getting dirty, but there is a downfall to this. This is only going to do the bare bones adaptation of your lens. What does that mean? If you have a piece of cinema glass, like this Rokinon 35 Prime, no autofocus, you adjust the f-stop on the lens, it does the job with this adapter. So where this isn't going to work is on a piece of glass like this, the Canon 28 millimeter lens that has autofocus built into it. You're changing the f-stops within the camera. So while this will attach this and you will get an image, it's going to pre-select an f-stop for you. And I apologize, I don't remember if it's the highest ISO. I want to say it is because I tested it out indoors and I was able to look at an image, but you're stuck. You cannot change the f-stop. So where did this $300 mistake come in? I went and purchased this adapter from Photodiox. There's a bonus on this thing. This dial right here is to adjust the variable ND, which is great because the new Blackmagic full frame doesn't have internal NDs like the 6K Pro does. I do use one of their adapters to allow me to attach these P-mount lenses, such as the Pentax K1000, to my old EF cameras serious problem with this particular adapter and I, I hate to do this but when I looked at the review on both Amazon and B&H there are people showing you pictures of this smudge. So here's an, an image that I took using this KNF Concepts adapter and then here's the same image using this variable ND adapter that does allow you to adjust the f-stops. That, that part there correct about but the smudge look if you want that pro mist look or that haze look maybe this is the the one for you but it it messed with the focus too you can tell I think I'm at 2 or 2.8 on this you also do lose a stop when you're using this because even with the clear glass and the ND dialed all the way down there is some filtration I think the ND should be an option but more importantly it, it just looks terrible the one review went in depth that this person exchanged the item three times and all three exchanges had the same issue. It's a factory wide issue. This review is from a couple years ago. It's sad that, you know, a company doesn't address that. And I, I don't like to bury companies like this. I know people are trying I, we're human. We make mistakes, but to not address this. And, you know, even when I reached out to the company, the response was, for now, I'm sticking with this one because it does the job for my primes. I'd like to hear if you have a company that you can recommend. If you're an Amazon affiliate, leave your link in the description. We'd love to you know, help you out, uh, especially if it's one that you can tell us you've used and you've trusted and there's no problem with it. I think the thing I'm looking for is being able to use the electronics of the uh, autofocus, not so much the autofocus, but the f-stops on the zoom lenses uh, or the lenses that don't have the f-stop dialed in on the lens. So let us know what you're using because it's getting to be an expensive headache. Anyway, I hope this helps and thank you again for watching everybody. Hit that like, hit that subscribe. We'll see you around. Peace.